atomic theory through the 19th century. The earliest recorded discussion of the basic structure of matter comes from the ancient Greek philosophers, the scientists of their day. In the 5th century BC, Leucippus and Democritus argued that all matters was composed of small, finite particles that they called as atomos, a term derived from a Greek word of indivisible. They thought of atoms as moving particles that differed in shape and size, that which could join together. Later, Aristotle and the other came to their conclusion that matter consisted of the various combination of the four elements. The fire, earth, air, and water could be infinitely divided. Interestingly, these philosophers thought about atoms and elements as philosophical concepts, but apparently never considered performing experiments to test their ideas. English school teacher John Dalton, who might believe that an atomic theory might explain how, how matter behaves, he helped revolutionize chemistry. The Aristotelian concept of the composition of matter predominated for more than 2,000 years ago. Several of Dalton's theories regarding microscopic properties of matter, which represented in 1807, are still relevant to the contemporary atomic theory. Matter is composed of exceedingly small particles called atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that can participate in chemical change. Element consists of only one type of atom which has a mass that is characteristic of the element and is the same for all atoms of that element. Atoms of one element differ in properties from atoms of all other elements. Pond consists of atoms of four or more elements combined in a small whole number of ratio. The given compound numbers of atoms of each of its elements are always present in the same ratio. Atoms are neither created nor destroyed during a chemical change but are instead rearranged to yield substances that are different from those present before a change. The numerous macroscopic features of matter that you have learned are explained on a microscopic level by Dalton's theory of the atom. For instance, an element with only one type of atom, like copper, cannot be divided into simpler things, that is, substances with fewer types of atoms. The total mass of matter present when matter transforms from one type to another will remain constant when neither atoms nor molecules are generated nor de destroyed during a chemical change, according to the rule of conservation of matter.